Hey, this is Chris, and I started investing as a 10 year old back in the late 90s. Um, by the time I was 20, I'd already experienced a couple of big booms and busts the original tech boom and then bust, and then the next mining boom and bust. And looking back after those first 10 years of investing, there are probably three things I wish I knew right at the start that would have put me in a much better position to do well over my first 10 years of investing. So in this video, I wanted to share the three things I wish I knew as a 10 year old investor. Um, now the first one is, I wish I knew that most companies actually lose money and go backwards when they're listed on the share market. Um, you probably open up the paper or you have a look at all the different companies available online on the ASX in Australia and think, wow, there are so many great businesses to invest in. Um, but the reality is most of them aren't great businesses. Most of them over their time listed on the share market will actually go backwards and lose you money. And this is a fact that's come out in several big research reports that have been done out of the US, that most shares go backwards, only a very small proportion of shares actually make money for investors over the long run. So you have to be really careful about what you invest in, um, and it actually changed my way of thinking to invest in the whole market rather than pick shares, because it's actually very hard to pick the very few winners in the market. I wish I knew that earlier, because I'd certainly invested in a few duds in the early years. Um, the second thing I wish I knew was that it's usually the best strategy not to buy when there's good news, but to sell when there's good news. Um, and the reason why is that usually good news is already built into the price. People have anticipated it. And so when the prices of markets or shares jump on good news, almost always they'll drift back downwards or fall backwards after the good news um, as that news is absorbed by the market and as people who bought originally uh, you know, sell or work out that it wasn't as great as they thought. And so chasing good news, whether you read it online or in the paper, is rarely the right strategy. You almost always get a second bite at the cherry. And so what I'd say is stay patient, stay on the sidelines and look for that second bite of the cherry rather than just chasing the good news story. Um, and the third thing I wish I knew was that when it comes to investing, the most important thing is to protect your capital. Um, if you lose all your chips, as they say in the betting world, you can't bet anymore. And it's the same with investing. Um, and really that's a great lesson for diversification. If you put all your money in one area of the market and that area tends to not go well over the next few years, um, you might actually be blocked out of investing altogether. And this happened to me when I was in my early teens in the first tech wreck. I lost almost all of my money and as a result, I had to basically save up for years and years just to get started investing again. So if you're diversified and you spread across a few different sectors and markets, you're much less likely to blow up when the winds change in markets. And by not losing all your chips, that's gonna allow you to continue to invest. Um, and they'd probably be my biggest lessons I learned as a 10 year old kid.